one thing I want you to walk away with today is how to do a call with yourself. The reason why I want that to be our number one focus today is because you can then do a call with yourself and practice each one of these different professional features on your own without needing to be on a call with a client or with a friend or a family member. You can just do it on your own by yourself. And I find that to be really convenient way. So that way, you know, if I mess up something when I'm on a call with myself, there's no consequence. But if I do it with a client, then I maybe look not professional or if I, you know, I might drop the call with my client, something might happen. Um, so I always like to practice these features beforehand with a call for myself. So I'm gonna show you how to do that first and then we're gonna jump into all of these features. From your DoxyMe page, once you're logged in, you can see that you, over here we have a list of, uh, this is like our, you know, our menu for, for the provider view. When you do a call with yourself, you're not gonna see over here, or when you do a call with anybody, you're not gonna see group calling, you're not gonna see file transfer or share screen, like these professional features, I don't see them. Do I have access to them? Well, the answer is yes, but you need to start a call. Once you're in a call, you're going to see group call, you'll see file transfer, and you'll see screen share and all the other professional features. Now, to do a call with yourself, the first thing I always like to do is I like to turn off my camera on my DoxyMe page, and I want to mute myself. This makes sure that you're limiting any kind of feedback that you get when you have a call with yourself. Then you're going to, you're going to want to copy your DoxyMe waiting room link. So I'm going to copy my DoxyMe waiting room link. And you'll go up to the top and you're going to open up a new tab and you'll paste in your waiting room link. The reason why I, I'm going to move my tab over, I just like having my tabs right next to each other, my, my, my client view tab and then my provider view tab. So this will be client number one. Again, before I start any kind of call with myself, I want to mute it and I want to turn off my camera. Now, the best way to understand, because it's a little confusing going back and forth between tabs, my provider tab will always have this menu over here on the side, where my client view will, always, will, will not have that on that side. So if you ever get lost of like which tab is which, where am I on my client view or am I my, on my provider view, you can just look to see if you have a menu with options. So I'm going to be going back and forth, and I'm going to try to make sure that you keep track where I am between a client view and a provider view. So from my provider view, I can start a call with myself. And then this is gonna be with client one, but this is just with myself. So I'm gonna click start call. Now I'm on a call with myself and I can quickly see on the left-hand side that my menu options have changed. I can now see group call. I can see screen share. I can see file transfer. I can see all of these other, these other professional tools on my toolbar. So I can now take them and do them. The very first professional feature that I want to show you all how to do is to do a group call. Right now, if I clicked on group call, nothing's going to happen because it's like, hey, you're on a call with only one other person. It's not a group. So there's nobody else to add to the call. That's totally fine. With group call, you're, to do it by yourself, you need to add another client to the call and you do it the same way I did it the first one. So I have client number one right here. I have my provider view right here, but I'm gonna open up another tab and then I'm going to put in my waiting room link one more time. And this time I'm going to check in as client number two. Again, I'm going to mute myself and I'm going to turn off my camera. I'm gonna jump back over to my provider view. And now I can see on the left-hand side that I'm on a call with client one. And then if I go down and I look down here, in my patient queue, I have client number two. And again, these are all me, I'm just doing this all on my own and you can do this on your own as well anytime that you want to. So now I, now I can do a group call. I have a, I'm on a call with a client and I have client number two in my patient queue. And now I'm going to click on group call. Here you can see that you can add up to 10 additional participants on a call. So now I'm going to add client number two to my group call. And I'm gonna click confirm. Doxy will re-optimize the, the connection for the group call. 
And then you get a couple of cool options. And the option that I like to do uh, down here in the bottom right hand corner, I'm gonna zoom in, is click on gallery view. I like to use gallery view because now I, when I look at this, I can see both client number one and client number two. So this is how you do a group call and it's really, really easy. But the biggest trick here is that you need to start a call with one client first, and then you add additional clients to that call. So that's group call. Really great. I love it when I do intake sessions and I have maybe multiple family members there. Instead of crowding everyone behind one camera, I want to make sure that they that everybody has a voice. And then obviously group calling is perfect for when you are doing a group. You have everybody having the chat feature. You can run a group, a fully functional group on Doxy Me's website.